Yes, good day everybody. December 13th, 2022. So let's look in yet again at the dipshit Mike Norman. What's he been blathering on about since our last video? <laughs> he never fails to disappoint. Dumb monetarists whipsawing themselves, really. Hmm. Two weeks ago, load the boat. One week later, Worst week for the market since September. See, I told you so. Another classic I told you so moment from Mike Norman. Already we have to halt and unpack a full load of bullshit. Already we just got going in this video and we already have to dump a load of Mike Norman horse shit. Whipsawing themselves. Well, Mike, so what did you do since you said you saw this coming? The worst week for the market since September. Did you sell, Mike? I mean, you saw it coming, right? You told us so. You must have. I don't know what you were thinking just a mere week or so before load the boat and then getting your ass kicked. And what did you do here? Since you saw this coming, Mike, what did you do last week? Did you sit there like the dumbass everyone knows you are? and took the full beat down and then come out here and tried to tell everyone else, I told you so? Of course, Mike, that's exactly what you did. You sat there and took the full beating. So people, I ask you, if you saw a flurry of punches coming at your face and you had the ability to dodge them and you didn't, is that smart? Am I allowed to ask how frigging dumb are you? I believe I would be. You sat there and took the beating like a dumbass. That's exactly what this guy did. Absolutely what he did. So the question is, what does it matter, Mike? What does it matter? You can scroll back down here in February. Let's go back like 11 months. What was he saying? Remember all this bullshit? When the turn would come, I would see it. I would see it in the fiscal flows and we would get out, we'd go short, we'd make money and then the fiscal flows would show us the way. Remember all this stuff I'm telling you about. And it's all the stuff he's been talking about forever. And I've been pounding the table saying this guy is so wrong. It's ridiculous. And you're a fool for believing him if you do so. Let's go back here in February. The market had already started to tip over. What was he saying? What was he saying? He was saying fiscal flows are great. They're going to support this market. It's going higher. Go back. Go back into the videos I made. I think I made one around the mid to end of June where I listed just the first six months of this dipshit calling bottoms. That never happened. And now listen, I already always said if you call enough bottoms, you're going to finally get the right one. At that point, it won't matter. So what's he left with? A pile of dumb shits, a dumbass smile, and a pile of dumb shits riding his knob like he's some freaking hero. Just a sea of the dumbest motherfuckers you're ever going to find on YouTube, except for this user right here, best adult dating site. This literally is probably some of the best material you're ever going to find on Mike's channel. And this is absolute horse shit. And what was he doing? Not all that long ago, a few days ago, <laughs> crying at you, crying at you somewhere down here that you are the reason his channel sucks. It wouldn't be his constant bullshitting and his bad calls and his obvious blocking anyone with anything rational to say. It wouldn't be anything like that. It would just be his daily blathering and bullshit trying to get you to believe that, I don't know, that he didn't invest in Coinbase still sitting at 42, 43? <laughs> Mr. MMT stock picker? The Warren Buffett of MMT, he's got the right idea. What a bullshitter. What a bullshitter. Hey, Mike, speaking about last week, where you claimed you saw it coming, just your extreme intelligence had you sitting there taking the full kick to the freaking face every day, Monday to Friday last week. Because yes, the only thing you were right about last week is it happened to be a bad week. But you saw nothing coming. Do not believe that, folks. If he did, then you have to ask him why he didn't step out of the way. Because you know he didn't step out of the way. Because he's been telling you the whole 11 months you were a dumbass for selling, for not stopping out. And of course, the whole time I'm pointing out all the shit he's been buying, the absolute dog shit at the absolute worst period of time. Listen, folks, great companies got clobbered this year. Why on earth would you buy shit at the end of a huge up run in this market? Nosebleed, parabolic. Listen, if you want to be a buy and holder, great. Buy and holder of indexes because you're holding primarily the best of the best. Even that won't stop you from losing. But buying stuff, 
of the likes that Mike Norman was, Netflix, Coinbase, you've got to be kidding me. Loading the boat on banks in January and February? Are you freaking nuts? Great stocks, some of them. Not the time to buy, folks. I can assure you, being right about a market is far easier than being right about a market or a company and getting the timing also correct. That's what's going to kill you. That's why you have to stop out. Elementary stuff this guy does not understand. So Mike, what did you do last week? Well, again, we've already discussed it. You've done fuck all. You sat there and got your ass pounded like you had the entire year so far. That's all you did. So what you called or didn't call is moot, buddy. Because whether you called it or not, based on anything that you believe is correct or not, doesn't matter. You sat there like a dumbass and got your head kicked in. And by the way, Fiscal Flows told you fuck all. And it never will, folks. Fiscal Flows cannot be used for the type of short-term trading that Mike talks about. And even a year didn't get this guy out of hock. And he's supposedly the, quote, expert on fiscal flows and MMT, at least here on the bullshit YouTube community. He's the supposed expert. Look at how poorly it worked out for him. No shit. How many years I've been telling you this? How many years? So, Mike, what did we do, I hear you asking, last week? Well, Mike, you may have noticed I've got this little Patreon service. You know what? I've been telling you and I've been telling Nick that clown over at Mind This One, if he still exists. I've been telling him that for months, maybe years at this point. You know what you guys should do? Sign up for this thing. See, not only am I the only guy on YouTube giving a complete portfolio, every day my guys know what's going on, and then you too would see for yourself that what I come out here and can claim is exactly what we did because I actually run a portfolio, we actually show it, and my members get actual trades every time we get one and you know beforehand i've said it all before anyone watching this channel and if you've watched mike channel mike's channel you should be aware of this channel so mike what did we do you're asking last week well i will say mike we didn't get a perfect score but the friday before last we went to cash by the way i can say all this now because this is in the past because I never speak of current positions, because it would lessen the value of my Patreon service for my paying Patreon members. So I can tell you this now. And if you don't believe me, again, like I just stated, sign up, just be secret about it, use the information, and then deploy it in your own bullshit YouTube account. And you can make all these grandiose claims, and you would actually know someone myself and my Patreon members that actually did the trades that you blather on and claim you're doing. So what did we do? Well, the Friday before last week, we went to cash, Mike. Our algo, so the funds you've allotted to your algo, went to cash Friday. We were in cash Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. A perfect score, Mike. I wish I could say we were in cash last week, five out of five days but we were in cash four out of five days, lost a little bit of money on Friday. And from there, I can't speak about what we're, what we're doing currently. So Mike, that's what really happened in a real portfolio that has a real process, a real algorithm. You dumb shit. Something that you could at best aspire to, but never could pull off. Because remember, folks, Mike Norman is nothing but a narcissist. He's blaming you for his YouTube failure. It's got nothing to do with his bullshit calls and everyone that knows anything <laughs> laughing at him. It's got nothing to do with that. It's just constant bullshit. I index it for people every once in a while. I put it all into a video, and that's only a portion of the bullshit because I just can't spend that much time pointing out what should be the obvious. And he's blaming you, Mike Norman has the gall to blame you for his failures. Why is he back? Well, I told you he was never leaving. He's a narcissist. He's never going to leave. He's going to have to be shamed fuck tons more before that clown ever leaves the show. Oh, don't worry. We're getting there. So, Mike, have you had enough yet? Have you had enough yet at losing? Have you had enough of me pointing out the obvious? Mike, you suck. Close your channel. Nobody believes you. Your information is widely public. 
you dumbass. You are never going to gain any more views than you have right now, unless it's for even more egregious bullshit. And I'm not sure if that can happen because you're, you are literally one of the worst lying sacks of shit in the YouTube investment community I have ever seen. It's obvious. Why do you have no viewership? Because of what I just said. Close your channel, you sack of shit. So in closing, let me just remind you over here on my channel, uh, I mentioned to you there was some links. I get emails all the time and there's this uh, one individual that I've gotten enough from that uh, I generally have a trust that they're the real deal. And uh, they sent me this link and sure enough, it is the real deal. So I just mentioned that all of Mike Norman's information is widely avail available publicly. So yeah, Mike, that means your fat freaking chance is out to pasture. <laughs> I'm raping anyone else with your bullshit at your shit bull economics, as people correctly quote, look like a scam website. Why bother going there, folks? It's all out in public. His website's a fucking disaster. His life's a disaster. His trading's a disaster. Why would you not think all his information is out there in the public sphere? So, uh, YouTube doesn't seem to like a lot of uh, links. So I separate it. You can see here, this particular link, just remove the friggin' spaces, close the gaps, and you can start looking at a lot of this clown's bullshit. Now, I was pointed to something actually even easier to find. It's right here. Here we go. <laughs> By the way, this is funny as shit. Remember this dopey clown and his zombie trading? Fucking dumbest ideas on the planet. Yeah. And uh, this is a classic. I love that. This YouTube page. Now, there's no, there's no material. But if you switch on, click onto the About tab, you'll see it. Here they are. So you can do a direct copy and paste. And I guess more stuff is coming. That's what I've been told. But there's a couple links here to a couple videos. And evidently, it's Mike Norman's bullshit stock picking idea. You know, this is the type of shit you get. And then you turn around and see him buy Coinbase. You see, folks, there's a large difference in between what this guy says and, and reality. There is a wide gap, which is why Mike Norman is such an obvious con man. So you can either see the links over here on my channel here. Uh, down in the bottom of this video, I will post the second one that I received, but I see it's the same as this one here. So either place, just go to youtube.com forward slash at Mike Norman repo forward slash about, and you'll find this page right here. <laughs> Mike, your days are numbered on YouTube, you dipshit. You might want to get used to it. Close your channel, you dumbass. Until next time, folks.